My reasons for contacting Steve um, from Serious Intentions was because I just started the team camp, or the Scheme Assistant Training Camp, as it's really called. Um, it was just an idea that I'd got in my head because I didn't want the young people leaving the play schemes at 12 with nothing to do. But I knew that I'd, it had to be something more than just another youth session. And I had to try and think of something that would really engage them and want them to come back. So I found Steve. Um, absolutely fantastic. The, I've never seen anything like it. It wasn't an area I was used to, the youth service. Um, I was more, more play. Um, but to see how those young people responded to Steve was just incredible. I, I saw young people that would never say boo to a goose were suddenly standing up and speaking in front of everybody. Um, some who were overconfident, but learning how to channel that confidence and help others who didn't have confidence. Just the whole thing. Steve's whole session was just a hit. So much so that when I ran the teen camp again, because he was there on my very first teen camp, um, one of the questions they would ask me, will Steve be there again? Will Steve be there again? Will Steve be there again? So they just adored him and it, it really worked. The, the young people responded to Steve in a way that, that shocked me. Um, I wasn't so shocked at first because I wasn't used to the youth service. It's only becoming involved with the youth service and seeing other people with young people in different groups, because I started to go to other groups, how, how boring and low key and no, no life in the sessions, that then I realised what little gold mine I'd found in Steve for him to engage these young people. And my young people were no different to the other young people in other groups, but he's got something that brings out the absolute best in, in everyone. He makes everybody believe that they're good at something, which we all are. It's just finding it. And in those sessions he did, um, those young people would come away knowing what they're particularly good at. I mean, I've, I've got loads of different examples in my head, which we haven't got time to go into. But some of the young people had some problems, but he made them realise they had something that the others didn't have. And they, they used that in the sessions. It's, it's just incredible. He, he hadn't he'd not met any of the young people before. Um, and of course, I knew them all. I knew the, the, you know, the bits about them that were not so good, a bit negative here, the, the positive aspects. From him doing a session and he asks different questions, he, see, he susses those young people just from the answers they give, which for the rest of the session, he knows how to treat those young people. He knows which ones are gonna give him all this, which ones won't. It's incredible, it's, without sitting and talking to them, he knows by what they answer, what type of young person they are. That's what gets me. He knows just how to treat them. Of course, after a while, he did get to know them, but to have that ability, from just a couple of answers, he read their whole persona, and that's why I think he's successful. The changes in the young people, um, it's just too many to mention. You, you've, you've seen the ones that you interviewed today. They're, I had about 15 to 20 of them, and they're all like that. They all remember what Steve has taught them. Um, when I didn't have Steve there, because obviously he wasn't there at every single session, um, I would mimic or try to mimic what Steve did. Um, you know, it gave me quite a, a, some good ideas. I feel a bit embarrassed because I'm not Steve and you can't pretend to be. Um, but the changes in the young people, you'd be proud, I'd be proud to be the, any of their, their parents. What, and that isn't just how they've turned out. Steve has had so much to do with that. Um, because luckily I could have Steve at quite a few sessions, so you could really see it build. Um, but he's changed the whole of their concept. They're not a group of loud mouth yobs walking through um, you know, a, a town centre. What he's taught them, and you think it, it, it's true, it, it stayed with them. They still talk about Steve now. I mean, I'm hoping to have Steve with the new group I've got. I think Steve's job is done on this little group now. I couldn't ask for more. It's changed, it's changed their lives and probably their parents' lives. <laughs> Using the services of serious intentions, most definitely yes. Um, I have to be respectful of local authority budgets, which is the only reason that I haven't had Steve on every single scheme assistant training camp that I run. Um, he will be hopefully doing, starting with my new group in the summer. 
Um, so most definitely, yes, we will be using Serious Intentions again. Steve from Serious Intentions summed up, I think one word is charismatic. He just draws people to him. Um, and the funny thing is he doesn't try. It's just Steve. And I think that is the beauty of Serious Intentions. Children can, young people can spot a fake anyway. You cannot be fake around young people and they lose respect. Um, Steve, he is so charismatic, he is so, everybody wants to talk to Steve. All the young people want to be around Steve. Um, and me, I think he's lovely. Um, yeah, I think that charismatic is the word for Steve. I love you, Steve. <laughs> If you would like more information about Serious Intentions motivational and inspirational products, visit us at www.seriousintentions.co.uk.